I think the thing you have to understand about Ishtar is that most people who go into show business or go into stand-up or go into any form of show business are more like these characters in Ishtar. There are millions of people that want to be in show business and they come up with these things. Listen to this, this is a hit, this is a great song, this, and they get very excited. And they, you know, and you, you kind of fall in love with your own stuff. And that's, that's something that all of us have to watch out for trying to do stuff. But these guys can only be, get booked in Morocco. And I know that world of comedy. So it, the, the, the reception to the movie, if you knew that world of comedy, it would help. You know, I once made a, I once wrote a movie called Movers and Shakers. It was about behind the scenes in Hollywood. It was very good if you knew about behind the scenes in Hollywood. Otherwise, it was too inside. This movie probably is hipper than the audience. Instead of saying, oh, Elaine May, Warren Beatty, Dustin Hoffman, how could they make such a bomb? You know, notice I left my name out of that. Uh, you know, how could they do Well, they didn't. They might have made something too hip for the room. But if you look at it, if the room gets a little hipper, sometimes it's who's looking. Whatever it costs, it got into the title. 40 million, 50 million at that time. Now it doesn't mean anything, but it kind of got into the 50 million dollar Ishtar, you know, and, and what I said, it's not as like the people complaining about, like they're going to get the money if the people that made Ishtar didn't get it. Even like me, what do I care how much a movie costs? That's somebody else's problem. It's not the general public's issue. General public's issue is, are we safe? Are we at war? You know, is there, are there jobs? <laughs> Is there decent air and water? We're not, we shouldn't really, how much do we care how much movie studios spend on money? It's not coming to us if they don't spend it. All I was aware of is that I was flying in a plane with an executive from Columbia Pictures and uh, I was gonna land in a country right next door to Libya with whom, you know, it wasn't like Great Britain. It was Libya. You go in, you'd land there, and you'd say Libyan Airlines, you know. And, and, and I knew that when I was in a scene in the movie where we were in a helicopter above this actual castle of whoever was running Marrakesh, which is where Ishtar is set, uh, that the guards in the castle didn't want that helicopter up there too long because they didn't want us to, like, who were we actually? And maybe we were casing their fortifications. So I'm more aware of that than the uh, political irony or the political goings-on or... You know, I, I was more focusing on coming back alive. Right. I see. We went to, I went to the library to get a copy of Ishtar recently and found out it was number 34 on a waiting list to get it. Is that book. right? And the, I, the New York uh, Public Library? No, Toronto Public Library. Toronto Public Library, number 34 on a waiting list. And thought, okay, Is well... Is that good? I don't know. It struck me as a little strange that... You know, yeah, I think that's good. In Toronto, you're number 34 in the waiting list. Yeah, it's, I, mean, I wouldn't even know there'd be a waiting list in Toronto. We're asking everyone the same thing. Do you have any advice for us? Uh, you know, yeah, I think you should make your, sta your mission statement clear to the librarian, and she should just reach out to these people on the waiting list. You have to make your mission statement uh, uh, complete to say, we want to know who you 34 people are and your feelings about Ishtar. What I would like to ask you is, do you have a day job? Uh, uh, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. I know, I know. <laughs> you know well, I mean, look, if, you, look if, you, if you're getting paid, you know, a little something to do this, okay. I don't know. We're not getting paid a cent. Right you now, can cut it out. I'm not either, you know. I haven't been paid for anything in years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. I have a lot of jobs. I really do, but I never, I'm working. I'm working tonight. All right, we don't want to take up any more of your Thank time. You. Really appreciate Keep it. Keep your ears open. I'm thinking of getting back into modeling. So just. All right. Okay. Thank okay, you. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye.